I would like to congratulate you oh. about reading a book, writing a book, and not even your first. No, uh, it's not what? easy. Yeah, it's the last of the trilogy. Yeah, it's the last of this, and I wrote before that three kids' books. I didn't know that. Mm. And then, and then some little bits and pieces in other books. But yes, it's not easy writing a book. It's crazy, really. Well, I have to say that I confess that I haven't read the other two in the trilogy, mm. but reading this one really makes me want to read the other two. Really? Be yeah. careful. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> so we, because I'm from Israel, yeah. there's a Hebrew song by Rachel yeah. that starts in the sentence, Rak al-atzmi l'saper yadati, which means roughly, only about myself I can speak and tell. And my question to you is, can you relate to that? Because your book seems to be a little bit about yourself, oh. in a way, or maybe more. Oh, I see what I you're saying. Know. I think that, <clears throat> uh, I think it, it, most writers will admit they, never, they write about what they know. And, and if you're a writer, uh, it depends what kind of a writer you are, of course, if you're a journalist type writer, you, you're just looking for bits of information, you put them all together. Mm -hmm. If you're an adventure writer, you, you would read about the landscape and then put people in it and whatever. But if you're a, a keen observer of humanity, including yourself, then, then you're going to draw on what you know. And because I have spent a lifetime seeking myself, trying to work out why I behave in such a way, but at the same time I'm trying to work out why others behave in such a way. So I never look at any event anywhere, I never watch a movie without reflecting it upon my, my experiences, my condition and myself. Yeah. So, yes, so what I, what I do when I write, what I, what I have done when I've written these three no novels in the trilogy, I always start from a position of truth. So, in this case, I thought, okay, I want to write about the final, the final, uh, the final journey of Jack Muir. So there's there's two journeys before this journey. There's one, there's one journey, but this is the this is the third and final stage. I want to bring Jack Muir to manhood. Okay, uh, and Jack Muir being close to me, yeah. where does he start? He starts in Australia. He gets on a ship and he goes to South Africa. And then, so I just write it down as I remember it. Then he goes to Israel, write it down as I remember it. Then he comes home, then he goes back, then he comes home, then he goes back and, and he, he falls in love and he goes to Iran and... Travels. And travels. So when I've done that, then I just rework it and rework it and rework it until I find the threads and the meaning. So what is this book? What am I trying to say here about the, the human experience? Okay then. But that bit I wrote there, that's, that happened to me, yeah, but does, he, does it fit the book? No, get rid of it. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> then I've got, I've got a thread of Jack. This is the thread of, so for example, the, the, for me in this book, the classic is the dishwashing. It starts with dishwashing. Yeah. Now, I have washed dishes all my life. I washed a lot of dishes on kibbutz. I did step up in times of difficulty on the kibbutz to wash dishes for the community. Mm -hmm. As Gritz knows, uh, I still wash dishes here. We have a dishwasher yeah. rarely used. In fact, I, th I think it's fading. I, I, I'm frightened to turn it on in case it goes, <laughs> what are you doing? Leave me alone. <laughs> so, but I, I didn't wash dishes like Jack Muir washes dishes. I, but I enjoy washing dishes. And I decided that in the writing of the book that dishwasher was going to be a thread. Yeah. And have meaning. Mm -hmm. So then, okay, how does Jack Muir wash dishes? So I then paid particular attention to how I wash dishes, and I built, if you like, a Jack Muir way of washing dishes, yeah. and that is now the way I wash dishes. 